The prosecution rests in the trial of Officer Edward Nero. He is one of six officers charged in connection to the death of Freddie Gray. In a Maryland legal first, Officer Garrett Miller, another officer charged in this case, is forced to testify against Nero, who is his colleague. WJZ is live. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is outside Courthouse East, joined by our legal expert Adam Ruther with more on this unprecedented move and its impact on Nero's case. Mike? And Jessica, we'll start with that. I want to ask Mr. Ruther, uh, really, did uh, Officer Miller have a choice to testify in this matter? He couldn't plead the fifth, right? No, not under these circumstances. After the court's ruling in the Porter case, uh, a witness in his situation, once they've been granted that limited use and derivative use immunity, they don't have the option of pleading the fifth. That's been taken away from them by the prosecution. And he could still face charges if the prosecution determines that he lied on the stand today. They certainly could. That's one exception to the immunity that has been given to stand in the place of its Fifth Amendment privilege. And the limitation on that immunity is that if he lies on the stand, he can be prosecuted for that. Now, the judge uh, ruled to deny a, a motion to acquit the charges today. Uh, are you surprised by that? Not really. The standard is very low at that stage of the trial. Basically, what the judge has to determine is whether there is just any evidence whatsoever from which a reasonable finder of fact could find guilt based on those facts. And with all of the inferences drawn in the light most favorable to the state. And so that's a very state-friendly standard, so it's most common that the uh, motion for judgment of acquittal is denied. And coming up next, we're, we're hearing the defense build their case. What do they need to do? How is it different without a jury? Well, without a jury, they don't need to uh, put the dots so close together. Uh, they can rely on the judge to uh, understand the evidence a little bit more easily, and they don't have to fill in quite as many gaps. They can move much more quickly and have a more streamlined presentation of their evidence. Thank you, Mr. Ruther. And the trial resumes tomorrow morning at 9.30. Reporting live at Courthouse East, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, Mike, thank you. And stay with WJZ for complete coverage of the Edward Nero trial. We will continue to bring you the very latest developments.